Here is the newest on mitral regurgitation from the valvular heart disease guidelines presented here at the ESC. Well, the trend is clear. It's a trend towards earlier surgery in patients with mitral regurgitation. And if you have left atrial volume index of more than 60 milliliters or a left ventricular and systolic volume index of more than 20, that can also trigger mitral valve surgery as a two-way indication. There is a new entity in mitral regurgitation functional atrial mitral regurgitation opposed to functional ventricular mitral regurgitation. It's important to consider this because treatment is different. In patients with functional atrial mitral regurgitation, you would focus on the atrium, while in patients with left ventricular functional mitral regurgitation, you focus on the ventricle on heart failure treatment. TIR got a boost. It is now a class 1 indication for patients with functional and a class 2A indication for structural mitral regurgitation. The guidelines stress the importance of minimal invasive surgery, but only in centers with high volume and where surgeons have the experience. And finally, we've got guidance now on when we should perform a follow-up study in asymptomatic severe mitral regurgitation every six months. This stresses the importance of echocardiography in the assessment and management of mitral regurgitation. So stay tuned for more from the conference at the ESC here in Madrid. By the way, if you want to keep up with the guidelines, we have a special teaching product for you.